All right, let's talk about single hand shoulder grab defense, straight arm. So uh, being a straight arm, there's a high chance that this person's pushing, uh, but maybe not always on this one. So uh, we'll talk about uh, what to do when the person's pushing versus not, not pushing. So pushing versus just a stiff arm. So the uh, first thing, again, single hand grab, we've got to be worried about that punch. So if he threatens it at all, we're closing the space, T position for good throw. So if he's not threatening the punch, we're okay to do the move. So if he's really driving into me, we'll talk about this one first, I've got to find my base. If he drives into me, what tends to happen is my body gets twisted and I might get pushed over backwards a little bit. So to stop that, uh, again, anytime someone's pushing on the shoulder, I want to step out and get in line with them. So we're facing the same direction here. From here, I can lean slightly forward to help stop his advance there. Okay. If it's a big opponent, you might not be able to stop uh, his advance entirely. But if we can, uh, the move is always easier if we can get the guy to quit driving. So, punch block, step out, lean in to find our base. So from here, <clears throat> uh, this move is often difficult to get to completion. Okay, here's what it looks like to completion. Uh, <clears throat> a couple things happen that tend to throw this move off. One, when we wrap, if I drop my elbow here, it just turns into our bent arm. Uh, not a bad deal. Um, the other thing that tends to happen is if this grip stays on, if this grip doesn't break, it's hard to wrap the arm the way I want to without the arm bending. So uh, with this move, worst case scenario, generally, I just end up back in our bent arm submission here. So not a, not a bad thing, but it'll just change the way uh, this move ends up. So we won't always get the, the straight arm submission, but in reality, the straight arm style submission here is really the harder one to do anyways. So we'll talk about uh, what we can do here to kind of uh, maximize the result on this one. But again, just keep in mind as we're doing this, uh, more often than not, this arm is gonna bend down, at which point we'll just finish our bent arm American style submission here. So, punch block, step out, lean in, to help prevent him from driving. This arm is gonna come up, but instead of driving the elbow down, I actually wanna keep the elbow high, and I want to wrap my arm right here. Okay, my forearm is just on the armpit side of the elbow, okay? And as always, I'm gonna point my thumb into that submission. So I'm gonna wrap over top, middle finger on the bend of the wrist, and then from here, I'm gonna step, this foot's gonna step out, and this leg is gonna come up across the body. And then I'm going to turn and look over my shoulder. So the submission is right here. I'm turning my body towards that wall, our wall. So, <clears throat> most of the time, this grip isn't going to break. If this grip on my shoulder doesn't break, okay, if it doesn't break there, it's gonna end up here. So when I step out, this arm comes up. You can see right there, if the grip breaks, okay, I can get this submission. Okay, if it doesn't break, it's going to bend that arm, at which point, thumb up, just inside the elbow, hand comes under, middle finger on the bend of the wrist, take a little step out, submit, okay? 
I'm pinching the wrist here. Important detail as well. So uh, I would say you know 99% of the time it's going to end up in that bent arm. Okay. Punch block. Step out. Arm comes up. If the grip breaks, step right there. So I want to be for this submission. I want to be a little farther out on his arm. You can see his wrist is still about even with my armpit. If I end up too deep here, I'm not going to be able to get that straight arm submission. And he's probably going to start pulling that arm out anyways, at which point, again, we're back here. So we want to make sure we're very competent in our bent arm submission. So let's look at it from this side. We'll do a couple times full speed. Um, when we do it full speed, there's a high likelihood it's going to end up in the bent arm. So we'll see what happens. So a couple times just from this angle. You can see if the grip breaks there. Right here. Do one full speed from this side. One from the other side. So, all depends on if that grip breaks or not. 